welcome back to the Super Geek Show. It's Nate, and today, um, this is what I picked up at Hot Topic. Um, I got the New York Comic Con exclusive Cthulhu, and uh, this is a limited edition. And um, if you guys don't know this or not, the New York Comic Con um, has started. I think it was on Thursday. It was Thursday through Saturday. So um, today is the last day of it. And today I went out looking for some Funko Pops of the New York Comic Con. Um, I tried looking at Barnes and Noble. Um, they didn't. Unfortunately, they didn't have any. Um, we were. I was really looking for the Cookie Monster, the Flocked Cookie Monster. Um, I was lo really looking for him, but we couldn't find him there. And then we went to Hot Topic, and right when I got there, they restocked. So they had like tons of exclusives there. They had like the um, um, like a color variant of like Wolverine. They had um, what else? They had the Ray exclusive. They had the um, um, a Batman. Like it's like a Batman. Um, it's like a blue and gray, um, like color variant, which I got, which will be a later review on that. There was just tons of exclusive. They just restocked, and um, there was actually three um, New York Co um, New York Comic Con exclusive Funko Pops there. There was the Game of Thrones, um, and then there was Jack the Skeleton and Vampire Teddy. I think that's his name. I I don't know. I forget. Um, but then I saw the like, Cthulhu, and uh, this guy is really cool. Um, even though I'm like. I really only collect, um, like the um, what is it called? The Bat. I mean, not uh, um. I collect the DC, the Marvel, and the Star Wars. Um, those are really the only Funko Pops that I really collect. Um, but since this was a, since this was a New York Comic Con exclusive, um, it's super cool and uh, it's just it's it's a really cool figure. And actually, I was thinking that this would be a a six inch pop, but actually it's actually just a normal. Um, three inch pop. Um, it's actually really big. Like it's big. I mean, like I don't know why they did it as a six inch. I think that would have been cool, but who cares? It's still a really cool pop. And uh, let's get them open. So he is really heavy. I would say, like, if you get this and then you compare it with another pop of yours, you will definitely know the difference because it is heavy. Um. So yeah, so let's get him open here. I'm gonna set the box um off to the side real quick. All right. So, um, basically, the thing I really like about this pop is that, um, uh, you can never get, like, a bad paint job with this one because it has, like, that, here, I'll get a close-up of it. It has, like, see, look at it, it's, like, that green, and then it has, like, that goldish-brown, like, tint over it. Um, so, it's in, like, the, in, like, the green and stuff, which is all, like, splattered around all over. So, with this, you can never get, like, a bad paint job, because it's just, like, paint that's just, like, thrown on it. It's just super cool, and, um, I'm thinking about making this an out-of-the-box pop. And that's just because the detail, just to look at this thing, like, um, all the way around, it's just super cool. And, um, I don't know, like, in the box, it does kind of hide, um, because it's behind, it's kind of behind, it's, like, it's, like, here, I'll show you. Because when you put it in the box, it's kind of behind um, that part right there. So you can't really see him that greatly. But see, but then the other thing is I want to keep him out of the box. I keep him in the box is because it has the sticker on it. So I'm still deciding if I should have him out of the box or in. Um, but he is super cool. And I really do. Even though if, like, any of you guys aren't, like, a, um, um, a collect of just, like, like, if you guys collect only, like, certain things, like what I do... I would still really recommend getting this pop because it is extremely, it is just extremely well detailed and um, plus it's a New York Comic Con exclusive so it's pretty cool to have um, on your shelf if you guys are Funko Pop collectors out there. So I really do recommend this pop and um, I have been really keeping a lookout for some others. Um, I went to Barnes and Noble um, and Hot Topic. Um, like I said, um, Barnes and Noble didn't have anything. <laughs> So, um, hopefully, I, I'll keep on looking out and just see if I can find that Cookie Monster sometime soon. But he is, um, this pop is very cool. Um, like I said, you can never get a really bad paint job. So, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And, uh, yeah, just get this pop. It's really cool. I really like it. And, uh, yeah, and the head can't articulate. Um, the head can articulate. can move back and forth, kind of. Um, it can kind of move back and forth. I, but, yeah. He's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, like I said, hit the like button. And uh, as always, stay geeky.